श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्के के कैसरी वेदांत आचार्य वर्यो में सनिदत्ता सदाकृति टुडे इज द मोस्ट वंडरफुल डे ऑस्पीशियस डे सुदीनम बिकॉज अवर आचार्य वल्लल स्वामी श्रीमन्नाथ मुनीस वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड त्रिनक्षत्र ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड बर्थडे आनी अनुषम our acharyas have have been so benign most benign to us paramakarunikar our acharyas out of shri manath muni is is the top most is the most benign master acharya for us swami vedanta desika says he pays his namaskarams to shri manath muni in yetiraja शप्तति नाथेन मुनिनाथेन भवेय नाथवानहम यस्य नैगमिक तत्व हस्तामलकता घतम श्रीमनाथ मुनि ईज द आचार्य फॉर् मी श्रीमनाथ मुनि अवैल द मोस्ट वंडरफुल आपर्चुनिटी टू पर्सीव द वेदांति ट्रूथ द ट्रू एंड ट्रू एंड व्याख्यान आफ् वेदात like a, like ullangai nellikani the tiny nellikani amla fruit on our palm if an if an nellikani is kept on our palm it would be so visible and crystal clear like that to perceive the true meaning arthams of vedam vedantams nathamuni availed the opportunity to perceive that let me pay my humble namaskarams to shri manath muni by folding my palms namaskaram swami swami shri manath muni without him we would have been anathar we would have been orphaned without this nathan nath muni we know the story swami shri manath muni once at trikudandai aramudan sanidhi he happened to hear the aramude adiyen udalam ninbal anpaye which is from the 10 pasurams of tiruvaimuli composed on the lord of trikudandai immersed in the divine sweetness the most delectable pasurams he was so enthralled by these pasurams that he wanted to be he want he was so eager to learn the entire collect of tiruvaimuli because at the end it says ayirathu lippattum out of 1000 verses those who recite these 10 verses it said in the last verse of those 10 pasurams so he wanted to know does anyone know the remaining 990 verses it so moved it so moving somebody said we know only this but you can approach you can go to alwar trinagari so he then moved to alwar trinagari got initiated into kanninun shirutamb composed on swami nammalwar by madrakavi alwar and reciting that for 12000 plus times as a yogi he had a divine encounter divine vision from swami nammalwar in yoga and chose him as the very acharya swami nammalwar must have lived long long before shriman nathamuni's time but he, in his because of his dhyanam swami nammalwar appeared and blessed him initiated him and also blessed him with swami nammalwar thruvai mari as well as the other divya prabandhams of all alwars which were lost in time including the including the sampradaya ragasyams and the brahma sutras everything so he then taught these divine divine prabandhams of alwar set to melodious tune and rhythm to his nephews kelayaga talwan also known as krishna and melayaga talwan known as varada it's only through shriman nathamuni that we have been able to receive those wonderful nalayar divya prabandham as well as be the acharya link for the avichinna acharya parampara anniram interrupted acharya parampara 
He is the one who blessed us with the Divya Pravandam, the Brahma Sutra, the Holy, the, the Acharya lineage. It is only after Srimad Natamuni that one can see our Sri Vaishna Sampradayam sparkling like a lamp. And Srimad Natamuni, a disciple of Namalvar, though he was originally named as Sri Ranganathan, he came to be known as Nathan, which is which is that's what even if your name is pronounced as instead of Ranganathan, only Nathan, it still amounts to the full. So having performed bhakti at the feet of Namalvar in Yogam, he obtained initiation into the supreme supreme tattvam, tattvahita purushartam, pertaining to our Vishishta Advaita Sri Vaishnava Sri Sampradayam, Parabrahman Sriman Narayanan, along with his essential Swarupam, Rupam, Kalyana Gunams, Aishwaryam, Obaya Vibhuti, along with all other associated Pramanams as glorified in the Upanishads. So he mastered the Tattvahita Purushartam in a blemishless manner and he had unalloyed devotion. Swami Sriman Nathamuni is, is an his, his unalloyed devotion is so beautifully talked about by Alavandar Yamunacharya in Stotra Ratnam. Namo Chintyad Buddha Krishna Jnana Vairagya Rashaye Nathaya Munaye Ghatha Bhagavad Bhakti Sindhave Tasmai Namo Madhujidangri Saroja Tattva Jnana Nuraga Mahima Dishayanta Simne Nathaya Natha Munayetra Paratra Chapi Nityam Yadi Sharana Sharanam Madhiyam Bhuyo Namo Aparimita Chuta Bhakti Tattva Jnana Amrtapti Parivaga Shubair Vashopi Lokevati Inna Paramatta Samagra Bhakti Yoga Yanatha Munaye Yaminam Varaya Such a beautiful manner. Alavanda starts off his Totra Ratnam and he is paying obeisance first to his Acharyan, Sriman Nathamuni. In the verse 2, in the verse 1, 2, 3, as well as in the last verse, 65th verse, out of 65 slokams in Stotra Ratnam, the 1, 2, 3 attribute to Swami Sriman Nathamuni. The last verse again attributes to Swami Sriman Nathamuni. But one may wonder. His actual Acharyan, Manakkal Nambi, Uyakkondar, and then Nathamuni. The fact is, Alavandar never mentions about Manakkal Nambi at all in this Totram. So, Uttamur Swami writes in his Vakyanam, is there any compulsion for that? When there are ten Alvars, Alavandar mentions only Namalvar in the fifth slokam. When there are so many sages, Alavandar mentions only Parasara, Parasara Maharishi. He touches upon only the key ones, probably. Also, when the Acharyan and Pracharya is there, if one pays his Namaskaram to the Pracharyan, Acharyan's Acharyan, our, our immediate Acharya would be immensely more pleased than paying obeisance to him. Here, Sriman Natamuni is the Acharya of Acharya of Acharya. So, Alavandas Prapracharyan. And his grandfather. And it is because of Sriman Nathamuni's instructions, Uyakundar and Manakkal Nambi passed on as a pivotal link to bring Alavandar or Yamunacharya into the Sri Vaishnava fold. Just like Periyanambi was instructed by Yamunacharya to bring Udayavar, Sri Bhashyakarar, into our Sri Vaishnava Sampradayam. So, here, it is appropriate to mention that the Anusandhanam, the three slokas on Sriman Nathamuni may refer to his, actually the three Acharyas. Sriman Nathamuni, Sri Pundari Kachar, which is also called as Uyakundar, and Sri Ramamishra Manakkal Nambi, also called as Manakkal Nambi. So, since birth, Sriman Nathamuni had been the cause, hence the first slokam. And being a pracharyan, prapracharyan is the second slokam. And his merciful, benevolent, vallaltanam, 
act for the lokopakaram for the sake of the world and to bless us with the acharya sambandham with the divya prabandham is the third shlokam so 1 2 3 of stotra ratnam is for nathamuni namo namo achintya buda adbhuta aklishta jnana vairagya rashaye nathaya munaye aghada bhagavad bhakti sindave how did he ever get this jnana achintya beyond understanding అద్భుత ఆశ్చర్యం మిస్టీరియస్ మార్వలస్ వండర్ఫుల్ అక్లిష్ట ఎఫర్ట్లెస్లీ అక్వైర్డ్ బై గాడ్స్ గ్రేస్ జ్ఞాన వైరాగ్య రాశయే పర్సానిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ వైరాగ్యం డిటాచ్మెంట్ అండ్ అగాధ భగవద్ భక్తి చిందవే డీప్ ఓషన్ ఆఫ్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ భక్తి భగవద్ భక్తి ఆచ శ్రీమన్నారాయణ భక్తి డివోషన్ ఆన్ అన్నలాయిడ్ డివోషన్ నాథాయ మునయే టు సేజ్ సెయింట్ నాథముని నమహ మై మై ప్రోస్ట్రేషన్ హౌ డిడ్ ఈ ఎవర్ గెట్ దిస్ జ్ఞానం హౌ మచ్ జ్ఞానం డస్ ఈ హ్యావ్ హౌ అవర్ మెనీ టైమ్స్ ఆర్ వేస్ వన్ అనలైసస్ దర్ ఈస్ నో ఆన్సర్ ఇన్కాంప్రహెన్సిబుల్ బియాన్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ అచింత్య అతి ఆశ్చర్యం ఇస్ దట్ ఈస్ వై అండ్ అక్లిష్టం ఎఫర్ట్లెస్లీ అక్వైర్డ్ బై గాడ్స్ గ్రేస్ సింప్లీ it's not acquired with hard work or penance it is effortless due to the grace of the lord like sanaka magarishi sanat kumar it's the acquisition of gnanam with complete accordance with shastras running nowhere hay wire towards other religions looking for the correct philosophy not a single word is understood by sriman nathamuni in a wrong manner everything in tandem in accordance in sync with shastras Upanishads and thus effortless so naturally acquired. So, always consistent, coherent, not contradicting any other word in Shastras. With one word or statement is when even one word or statement is understood. Such a most beautiful manner characteristic is due to his greatest vairagya. Due to such rarest para vairagya. avara tattva jnanam he is able to take his mind away from worldly pleasures from the materialistic desires pursuits hence jnana vairagya are both essential and are found in sriman nathamuni as the as the embodiment of both of them in one lot is sriman nathamuni so on lower tattvams he has vairagyam and on para tattvam he has love focus with paripurna jnanam and hence bhakti is flooded in his heart for shriman narayana he becomes the repository of deep ocean of great bhakti towards shriman narayana saint shriman nathamuni i pay my namaskarams to ala says alavandar in the first shlokam nathan he is our nathan how blessed am i to be born in this family enjoys sri alavandar in the second shlokam he mentions tasmay namo madujidang risaro jatatva jnana anuraga mahima dishayanta simne nathaya natha munaye atra paratra cha pinityam yadiya charana sharanam madiyam earlier jnanam which is knowledge on all matters devotion bhakti on lord alone were described on sriman natha muni <coughs> bhakti is contemplation or meditation mixed with love with prema here alvar touches upon a bit about the life of sri manatha muni through which he describes the limitless jnanam unbounded jnanam he had and bhakti of our acharya natha muni and thus he explained he is part of the guru parampara for him for alavandar and for us and others in sri vaishnava sampradayam in the second shlokam tasmay such as described earlier the one who is the embodiment of jnana vairagya bhakti madujit of bhagavan who conquered madhu asura angri saroja the lotus feet tattva true nature jnana anuraga knowledge and intense love madima dishaya glorious peerless greatness unparalleled greatness antasimne the zenith the jnana anuraga mahima disaya the zenith the the ascendance nathaya nathamune to the master shriman nathamune the master of shri vaishnava shriman nathamune namaha my obeisance
యదీయచరణవు హూస్ ఫీట్ శ్రీమన్నాథముని లోటస్ ఫీట్ అత్ర పరత్ర అపి చ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ లీలా విభూతి అస్ వెల్ అస్ ఇన్ శ్రీ వైకుంఠం మదీయం శరణం మై రెఫ్యూజ్ ద ఉపాయం అండ్ ద ఉపేయం హీ ఈస్ ద వన్ హిస్ ఫీట్ ఫార్ శ్రీమన్నాథముని ద జ్ఞాన వైరాగ్య భక్తి వెర్ ఇన్హెరెంట్లీ ఇన్ హిమ్ ఇన్ వండర్ఫుల్ మావలస్ మ్యానర్ అతి ఆశ్చర్యం సచ్ గ్రేటెస్ట్ ఆచార్య ఈస్ నౌ డిస్క్రైబ్ యాజ్ ద అల్టిమేట్ పినాకిల్ ఆఫ్ ద హైట్ ఆఫ్ జ్ఞాన వైరాగ్య భక్తి ఇన్ హిమ్ ఇన్ దిస్ లోకం హౌ ఇట్ ఇంప్లాయ్ శ్రీమన్నారాయణ అలోన్ ఈస్ ద పరతత్వం ఈశ్వరన్ అండ్ దేర్ బై ద పరతత్వం ద అదర్ ఫిలాసఫీస్ లైక్ ద ద నాన్ వేదిక్ ఆర్ డిస్టార్టెడ్ వేదిక్ ట్రూట్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్కరెక్ట్ అండ్ డూ నాట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద ఓవరాల్ స్కీమ్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ పర్ ఉపనిషత్స్ వేదాస్ అండ్ శాస్త్రాస్ శ్రీమన్నాథముని బ్లెస్టస్ విత్ సచ్ అన్పారలెల్డ్ క్రిస్టల్ క్లియర్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ విత్ ఎస్ న్యాయతత్వ గ్రంథం సే స్వామి దేశికన్ thus incompatible with such great qualities he had complete detachment towards the worldly pleasures and he was resplendent with greatest amount of bhakti intense love and devotion being blessed with the power of gnanam with the power of meditation yoga he focused on the lord with the intense love devotion so he could enjoy the lord literally within the divya mangala vigraham of shri man narayana he could he could visualize and realize the jeevatma's glories and swarupam and knowing that it is eternally shesham servant eternal servitude to shri man narayana that's the time our blessed acharya was blessed by the lord through few shri vaishnavas in kattu mannar koyil when they recited ara amude సో ఎన్నాన్ చేయేన్ యారే కలైగన్ ఎన్న ఎన్ చేయగింద్రాయ్ ఉన్నాలల్లాల్ యావరాలు ఒంరం కురైవేండే టు హోల్డ్ యువర్ లోటస్ ఫీట్ దెర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ దట్ ఐ కెన్ డూ వాట్ ఈస్ ద లింక్ బిట్వీన్ ద యాక్షన్ అండ్ మీ హూ ఈస్ ద సపోర్ట్ ఫర్ మీ ఎక్సెప్ట్ యూ ధరియేన్ ఇని ఉన్ శరణం తంది ఎన్ జన్మం కలయాయే వెన్ ఈ హర్డ్ ఆల్ ది స్వీటెస్ట్ డిలెక్టబుల్ పాసురం హిస్ హార్ట్ వాస్ మెల్టింగ్ అడియేన్ ఉడలం నింపాల అన్బాయే నీరాయి అలైంది కరయ్య ఉరుక్కుగింద్ర నడుమాలే సో హీ లాంగ్ ఫర్ ద రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద థౌజండ్ పాసురం దెన్ రెస్ట్ ఈస్ ద హిస్టరీ దస్ ఈస్ ఇంటెన్స్ లవ్ హ్యాస్ రీచ్ ద అల్టిమేట్ పాయింట్ ప్రియోహి జ్ఞానినోత్యత్వం అహం సచ మమ ప్రియ Perumal, the great, Perumal has greatest love for such devotees. Who else would have been blessed by the Lord like Sriman Nathamuni? Probably none at all. He was blessed with Paratatva Jnanam, Paramahitam, Paramapurushartam. He was blessed with the, with the darshan of Swami Nammalwar. It was indeed to help us. the suffering jeevans that nathamuni performed this tapas reciting 12000 times kandinu chirutambu and had the darshanam of namalva who blessed nathamuni with the nalaar divya prabandham with sakala shastrarthams the knowledge along with the performance of sharanagati tatvam and about the life history of other alvas as well probably so the granting such gnanam reminds one of the first and prime acharya shri hayagrivan madhusudan that is why madhu asura is referred to here madhujit now i have realized that it is shweta swatara upanishad which states that mumukchur vai sharanam aham prapadye tin kalal shere tuyar aru shudar adi all mention is lotus feet shriman nathamuni was blessed to be shining with this jnana anuragam knowledge and intense love with the relevant jnanam and the way to reach him through sharanagati through prapatti with no further birth any more made him great sadacharya for others who became a shishya and thus he became nathan for all of us when upayam was not clear only atra here in this world and after getting upadesham from manakkal nambi through the instruction niyamanam of shri man nathamuni shri uyakonda now it is the paratra paratra cha api
in Palamapa the mass well. Yedia Sharanao Yedia may infer Uya Kondar and Sharanao his Sishya, namely Manakal Nambi. Thus mentioning his Acharya enjoys our Sri Uttamur Swami in this Totram that here Uya Kondar and Manakal Nambi are also perhaps referred to. Then Alavandar enjoys his grandfather, Acharyan for others, but grandfather for him. Srimad Nathamuni blessing us with his wonderful Granthams and getting to us with Alvar's Basurams. He was Yogi Shrestha, offering his Pranamams again and again. Bhuyo namo aparimita chudabakti tattva jnana amritabdi parivaha sibair vachobihi Loke vati na paramatta samakrabakti yoga yanata munaye yaminam varaya unbounded limitless the, the lords large glories and on him bhakti and jnanam such bhakti and jnanam have over flooded and poured out in the form of most auspicious sri suktis of sri manathamuni and through blessing us in this world with the wonderful divine granthams divya prabandhams of alvas filled with bhakti through these works, Alvar Pasurams came down and established the unparalleled supremacy of Sriman Narayana and the truthful, correct nature of his Rupa, Swarupa, Vibhuti and about him, our Nathamuni had limitless, uninterrupted bhakti on Sriman Narayana. To that king among yogis, let me pay my namaskarams again and again, Swami Alavandar says. Achyuta bhakti. Tattva Jnanam can be interpreted to be the Jnanam based on his own works as well as the works of Alvars, Vyasas, Parasara Maharishi and others. So, he blessed us with Nyaya Tattvam and Yoga Rakasya Granthas. Also, he propagated the Alvars Pasuram. He performed, performed the, the Dhyanam. He was a Yogi Shrestha. And even after he performed Prapati, he enjoyed as a Swayam Prayojanam the contemplation, the Dhyanam of Primal. That is also the kind of Dhyanam and hence it is also termed as Yoga. Swami Sri Uttamo Swami mentions here. The Dhyana Yogam came down to his Shishya Tirkurgai Kavalapan and could not be reached to Sri Yamanacharya. The Yoga Ragasya though was not passed on later, it could probably be there during Alavanda's time and hence Lokeva Thirna word is indeed apt in this slokam. Having even performed Prapati and been blessed with the same, Sriman Nathamuni did not leave his Dhyanam and enjoying the Lord in uninterrupted meditation just for blissful enjoyment, Bhogyam. So, Yogam and hence he was king among yogis. Swami Desigan also mentions in Adhikara Sangram Kalam Balam Puriyanna Narkada Ladiyavarkku Thalam Balangi Tamil Mara Innisai Tanda Vallal Moolum Tavaneri Moottiya Nathamuni Kalale Nalum Tuldeluvom Namakkar Nigar Inda Nanilatte In Nanilatte The two devoted nephews Kela Yagatharvan Mele Yagatharvan were taught by his their Uncle Swami Sriman Nathamuni, the Gandharva Vedam, and by singing for singing this Divya Prabandham with the appropriate beat, Talam, Swami Nathamuni also blessed his other disciple with instruction on the path of Yogam, which we saw earlier. And in such a wonderful manner, Swami Alavandar completes his 65th slokam where he talks about <coughs> here he mentions in the fifth in the 65th slokam where he mentioned the last slokam is a gem of an example of sharanagati imbued mixed intertwined with akinchanyam the helplessness the powerlessness alavandar prays to the lord to come to his rescue just for the sake of his dear grandfather, Acharyan. And he says, 
you need to you need to save me just because i am the grandson of shriman nathamani otherwise why did you make me be born in this kulam i never asked for it is you who pushed me as the grandson of shriman nathamani akritrimatva charanaravinda prema prakarshavadi atmavantam pitamaham nathamunim vilokya prasidavat vrtama chintayitva alavandar prays to the lord to come to his rescue at least for the sake of his dear ancestor shriman nathamani for his dear grandfather alavandar pleads with the lord to ignore his own unworthiness mat vrtama chintayitva and think of his grandfather nathamani the boundary of parama bhakti at the lord's lotus feet shriman nathamani he is a true he was a he was a true gnani of atma swarupam and he is true gnani of paramatma swarupam and that should be the reason for saving me alavanda salutes the leader of yati nata muni as the one with limitless bhagavad bhakti tatva gnanam it it adiens greatest bhagyam to even talk about shriman nata muni on this most auspicious day so that at least the next generation the youngsters get to know of our most wonderful acharya lineage and the amazing acharya shriman nata muni who is the pivotal link for the uninterrupted acharya lineage for our acharya sambandham for blessing us with the, with all the vedantartams through from shriman swami sri namalwar down to our acharyas and also blessed us with the nalayar divya prabandham because of his because of his contemplation or repeat uh, tapas of reciting kandinun chiritambu more than 12000 times and have the darshanam darshana saubhagyam of swami namalwar in in his trance not that namalwar came in front of him and gave him a cd with nalayar divya prabandha it this is simply godly divine it's just bhagavad anugraham adiyen swami shriman nathamuni trivadikale sharana kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkatesaya vedanta gurave namaha dhanyoshme